All right, in today's video, I wanna share with you a phenomenal protein shake, one that I have not yet tried, and it's a chocolate peanut butter almond crunch protein shake, so stick around. Welcome to DadBot Fitness. If you and I are just meeting, my name is David. And if you're a parent or especially a dad looking to stay fit and to build some muscle, you'll find great tips and strategies on this channel for helping you to reach your fitness goals. I want to inspire your change. I want to motivate your transformation and help you to share that adventure with your family. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so if you guys didn't notice, we are at the film shoot for Bomb Squad RPG. So again, if you haven't heard me talk about that, definitely check out the channel. The, the links will be in the description to Avenue Studios channel. Definitely check it out. My brother heads this thing up and I never ever did role playing, role playing tabletop games, I should say. But it really has been a blast. You gotta check it out. The links will be in the description. Okay, so for it though, I always do what we call the MRE RPG, which is the, what is it? Made, made, made ready to eat? I think that's what it is. Yep. Made ready to okay. eat. Dan, what's MRE? Made ready to eat? Okay. Okay. Meal ready to eat. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the MRE is the meal ready to eat and it's the RPG MRE. So we always have some sort of snack and I always try to gear it towards health, wellness, muscle building, fat loss. We are today going to be doing a chocolate almond peanut butter crunch protein shake. I may have said that backwards. So I've got almonds. I have Arvon chocolate protein powder because it's the best. And here's my little secret. Not just chocolate, but we do vanilla. And we're going to do some... Um, vanilla unsweetened almond milk, and they have the prime peanut butter, the organic peanut butter. Let me start mixing these things up for you. Now I am making this, if it was just for me, typically I'll do like two cups of almond almond milk. However, since it's for a bunch of people, I might do like three cups. Now it depends on the consistency that you want. If you want it thicker, more smoothie-like, I would do like a cup, maybe a cup and a half. If you want something a little more drinkable, sort of like a, uh, almost like a yogurt shake, just do more almond milk, a little more ice. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna do probably three cups. So we'll measure that out. Now, the thing I love about almond milk is that it's very low calorie and it tastes phenomenal. I don't even drink enough regular milk. Really do I ever drink it now, but really low calories, 30 calories a cup, good stuff. I'm going to do approximately, I'm, I'm, I'm measuring by eye today, so it's probably, that's probably close to a quarter cup. It might be a heavy quarter cup. Handful of almonds, but because it's a bunch of people, I'm gonna do more. So we're probably talking like a heavy heavy third cup. Almonds are high in calories, so if you're making it yourself, just be aware of that. As long as you put it in your macros, you're good to go. So because it's, I normally do two scoops of protein powder, that's 20 grams of protein, but because there's more than just me, I'm gonna do two chocolate, and my little secret is you add vanilla. If you don't have vanilla protein powder as well, now again, I, I would highly recommend Arbonne protein powder. If you haven't seen my protein powder review, definitely check that out. I'll put that in, a, in the card above. I do a review of different protein powders, but my favorite recommendation is the Arbonne. Uh, there's vanilla, chocolate, and there's a chai flavor as well. And actually for a time, that did have a cake batter. By the time this comes out, it might not be available because it was a special thing. So that's my little secret. If you don't have vanilla, I would try some vanilla extract. That'll also work as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do peanut butter. And I'm probably going to do, let's see, I did the almonds, did the chocolate. Fail. Fail. <laughs> ah! This is real life. Oil. Now I gotta stir okay, it up. This organic. is this is the one downside. All right, we are gonna call that close enough. All right, so because I, when you're doing real peanut butter, I think two tablespoons is, three tablespoons is ideal. However, that is, it could be approximately 300 calories um, just with the peanut butter alone. Now, since we are doing a lot of, there's gonna be five of us, I am gonna do heavy peanut butter. So it's gonna be an eyeball tablespoon, probably about two-ish. Everything doesn't have to be exact. So we're gonna do four, I've just decided. One thing that you could do if you wanted to is add a banana to this. I would just do a half if you don't want a strong fruit flavor because it will taste a lot, very banana-y. But we are now gonna throw some ice in here. Get a lot of this, Dave. So again, thickness depends on how much ice you put in. I'm gonna go for a little, a little, uh, a little thicker. Ah! No. So I'm gonna do a little bit less ice. But because, again, because I did a heavier shake, it's gonna look like a lot. Depending on your ice cubes, 
I would do, like if you want a thicker shake, I would do like three, three ice cubes if they're bigger ones. What are you talking about, Janae? Ah! Like <laughs> literally <laughs> shot at me. We are now going to mix this. Here we go. And we're going to call it. All right, here's the moment that we have all been waiting for. I might do a little bit more ice. So, you see, this is well. I don't know. That's a pretty nice. That's a pretty nice looking shake. So it is a little bit, a little bit waterier. But okay. Mm. Okay, I've never done this one. That's really good. <coughs> okay. Okay. This is really delicious. The only downside is the almonds. Ugh, they're like getting caught in my throat. The almond chunks are getting caught in my throat. So I would, okay, if you do this recipe, tastes phenomenal. I would do something different. Don't do the almonds just in the, in here. You can stick them in a bag, smash them up. Or here's what I've done is almond, <clears throat> almond extract and that'll get rid of that. But seriously, even considering that, mm, that's good. I'm gonna actually throw up the calories and the macros on the screen once I have it all calculated out. You can kind of get an idea. Again, this was for, we have about five people that are gonna be drinking it. So it's gonna be smaller shakes. Total amount is probably higher calories than what you do for a, a single serve sort of shake. So hey, if you like this video, click on the link over here to go to the next episode in the series of the MRE RPG recipes that you must try at home. And if you wanna see another video really geared towards your nutrition, try out the video right up over here. As always, be intentional and bring the intensity. And I I cannot wait to see you on the next video.